Hello, Infinity Q70 Hybrid, M35H. I'd like to showcase what it's like to drive one of these vehicles, specifically the kind of information that will be displayed to you. For that, I'd like to start with the gauge cluster and I'd like to call attention to the left area of the screen. So right now there is an icon of a vehicle with an arrow underneath it pointing to the front and the back. That is the ready to drive indicator. It says that the hybrid vehicle is ready to be driven. Pretty simple. Then you see the letters E and V down here. That means that the vehicle is running on electric mode only and the gasoline engine is going to be off. And that's why the tachometer is down at zero. Otherwise it would be at idle RPM. And then down here you have your battery status and this lets you know what the battery is doing or what's being done to the battery. If it's in the blue region, it's being charged. But if it's in the white region, it's in the power mode. That is the batteries being used to propel the vehicle. So I'd like to move over to the right to focus on what has turned out to be my favorite screen to look at while driving, energy flow screen. This one here lets you know uh, what is happening with regards to power, where power is being sent. And it, it shows the three main components of the powertrain. So there's a gasoline engine, there's a battery, and then there's a rear axle, which represents propulsion or at least the vehicle moving. So I'd like to start driving and I will, I'd like to show you what it looks like, right? The a few different things you can see on the screen. Right now you can see the battery status. It says that I've sp spent about half my, my charge on the battery. And at some point you'll be able to see different color schemes to explain that, hey, oh, well, that's good. Quickly jumped into the second one I was gonna share. So right now what you see is that the gasoline engine has been started and you can see that it's a little bit into the blue charging it. So the gasoline engine is being used to charge the battery. Nice and simple. I think we should start driving. Then I can showcase all the others. Hopefully it doesn't take too long and we'll be able to hit all eight possible screens that I've seen. Right now you're seeing number three. I'll, I'll try not to number them. I'll just kind of move on with life. But the third option here was that the gasoline engine is doing both duties. It is powering the vehicle and it's also charging the battery. It's going pretty fast. Two thirds full right now. So let me just stay on this screen for a while as I drive. Can you see this? It's doing a little more charging. It's a little deeper into the blue now, right? It's pretty cool. Once it gets to sufficient charge, it's going to reduce what it's doing a little bit, you know? It, there you go. So this is interesting, I actually jumped to that. So right now it's it, it was briefly in EV mode. Let me, let me try to explain what happened. So right now, the gasoline engine and the battery were both powering the rear axle. That's why you got that color going on where you had blue uh, gasoline engine power is represented by the orange color. And you can see that the arrow points to the general direction of energy flow and stuff related to the battery. I'd say more accurately, the motor is represented by blue. So let me, there is a way, I thought there was a way I could force it to get into EV mode. Yes, by turning it into echo. Let's see if it works this time. No, apparently not, it did not work this time. There you go, I'm in EV mode, but that might just be because it's, it's full. But right now you can see that the water <laughs> or the motor is um, powering the rear axle, so the battery is working. Watch the direction of flow, and I'm about to switch it up on you. Did you see the flow change direction? <laughs> Pretty cool. So let me expl explain what happened there. So normally when running, and look, it's now showing that it's in the power mode. When running the, on EV, when using the motor, uh, energy flows from the battery to power the rear axle. But when the, when you take your foot off the gas pedal and you're not demanding power from either the gas engine or the motor, or the, or the battery, sorry, you still have motion in, in your vehicle. And 
the motor I'm not talking about the engine there is an electric motor the electric motor takes the motion from your vehicle think of it as a dynamo and uses that to charge the battery and that is what they call regenerative braking in this vehicle so I'm going to take my foot off the gas and watch the flow the direction of flow over there the battery is being powered by the rear axle right so that's that's why that shows up that is the explanation of that sometimes so right now you can get combinations of both like you like I explained earlier whereby if I demand it if I get on the gas a little aggressively let me put it in sport mode to see if I can force it but if I get on the gas rather aggressively then both the gasoline engine and the battery oh like now I'm not even doing anything aggressive but both of them are powering my rear axle if I time it right it's really hard to see this other screen but if I time it right when I get off the gas when I get off the gas and the gasoline engine is still powering the rear axle you can see a combination of both statuses whereby the engine is going to be used to charge the battery and the regenerative braking is going to be happening as well it's very it's very hard to catch it honestly there you go very brief did you see that very brief uh, occurrence of it but yeah it's pretty it's taking out pretty well so that's about all I wanted to share I feel like by now I've caught all no there's one more I haven't caught let me try to put it in standard mode and there is one more you saw the status whereby the battery was being used to power the vehicle by itself there you go there is an eighth one that I almost missed whereby the gasoline engine is doing one job and one job only and that is powering the vehicle it's not charging the battery but yeah it's it can be a little interesting trying to catch all of these at the same time but I'm still learning the vehicle I'm not sure exactly when to force it when to manipulate it to do certain things but at, at least you can see what I was talking about right whereby there isn't much charging going on it just it just you know powers the vehicle that's it so I think with that that should cover everything we can about the vehicle I, I wish I had yeah maybe it could have held my phone a little further back to show the different statuses then you would see what would be happening on the on the battery gauge like now let me get on the gas aggressively you see go all the way to power <laughs> so yeah maybe maybe that is an example of oh there you go that was nice without focusing on it I was able to catch let go of the gas okay that's interesting but yeah I hope that showcases enough about it and all the best we'll keep exploring this vehicle and sharing the, the exciting things I find about it